Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Josue. All right. Good to see you Hi, again, teacher. teacher. Yeah, good to see you guys again. It's nice to see you too. It was a surprise to see you guys. I was like, oh, great. You know, and they told me, guys, we're going we're gonna to be together again. How are you guys? How was your Thank good news. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought so too. <laughs> yeah. How, how was your weekend, guys? I'm really, really happy, really. I'm. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. Okay, good. I'm happy to hear that. Um, yeah, because, um, you know, the weekend is always important to, you know, be able to just uh, relax a little bit. Um, and uh, did you guys do anything interesting on the weekend? Sorry? Did you do anything interesting on the weekend? I only practice with my band. Good, good. What about the others? Did you do anything interesting on the weekend? Well, not actually, but because I had to work, but it has been good. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Um, so it was nice to yeah. have one week off, right? Right, just um, you had a little bit of, of, of chance to relax a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Um, what time do you guys normally get home from, from work? I work from home. Oh, okay, good. Same. You too? Actually, always in, in, in house. Oh, okay, you're <laughs> Those day. Is you're always at home or just because of the, with the situation of the pandemic? Yeah, it's, it's for, for this situation. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. All right. So normally you, like when, when this, everything normalizes, you're going to go back to, to the office? For sometimes around 10 p.m. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. Um, a normal day, I, uh, I, I come back around seven p.m. or eight, maybe. Okay. So yeah, very late. Yeah. It's not. It's late. Yeah. Most Many times in, in in weekend, sometimes I work, but those days, my weekend always is day off okay i see all right okay guys um let me see uh dennis came in but he left i guess he has some problems okay well guys um all right so has everybody had the opportunity of uh, looking at the platform yet or you're still not, you still haven't seen the platform? Yeah, a few moments. I was watching the platform. <laughs> okay, 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 good. Um, yeah, then the platform. Um, so this is uh, this is now the pre-advanced level two. Um, and the same thing as before, we have five sections. Okay. Um, yeah, we have the five sections there. Okay, so guys, um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, start by talking a little bit about past participles, okay? So um, we're gonna do a little warm up. Okay, um, and the warm up is going to be basically, we're gonna have a chance for everybody to uh, to remember what the past participle of certain verbs are, okay? Uh, for example, uh, I'm, to give you an example, um, I say the verb, um, let's say complete. What's the past participle of complete? Yeah. Who remember? Completed. 
Good, okay. exactly completed. So what I'm going to do is I would say, for example, I would say, uh, Rafael, complete. And then yeah. Rafael would say, would say completed. Complete. And then Rafael will go okay. and he will call, he will say one, another verb, and um, he would say it to another person. So he would say, for example, Josue, right? And then Josue would answer the past participle. Sounds good? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's see how this works. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys remember the idea with this activity is to try to activate the past participle verbs because um, sometimes we forget them. Okay. Especially when the, the those ones that are um, that are irregular. Okay. So I'm going to start. Um, hi, Juan Manuel. Uh, welcome. Just um, letting you know right now we're going to be doing an activity. We're doing a little bit of a game, let's say. Um, in where we are practicing the past participles. So somebody is going to say a, pa a verb and the other, you, they call out a person's name and they have to say the past participle of the verb. Does that make sense, Juan? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. May we help if somebody else doesn't know the answer? Um, sure, yeah, we can help them, but let's give them a <laughs> chance to remember, right? Because uh, the idea okay. is to, to, to to get your act to activate. Yeah. Right? So let's give them, I don't know, 10 yeah. seconds maybe. And if in 10 seconds they don't get it, we can ask them if they want help. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So I'm going to start. The first one is um, where. And I'm going to say um, Raphael. Yes. Being. Where, where? You said past participle, right? Past participle of where? Mm -hmm. Where is being? No, where like um like the like wear clothes, for example. I'm wearing. Oh, sorry. That is, yeah, yeah. I I thought that was the verb to be where you. Okay. Oh yeah, no, it's no, okay. okay. <laughs> So what is it, Rafael? Worn. Good. Worn. Worn. Excellent. Very good. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Rafael. Choose someone else and give them the verb. Okay. Josué Perez. Um, okay. Tell me. What's participle of the verb think? Thought. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. All right, so Josue, you continue. Josue is supposed to continue. Okay, and my example is the past participle of wrong. To whom? And who? who to, the, to my classmate, Luis Mesa. The wrong, right? The past participle is run. Yeah, very good. Run, run. Mm -hmm. Good, excellent. All right, Luis, go ahead. Choose somebody else, give them the verb. Okay. Mm, uh, past participle of right. Ah, uh, the next. Uh, Yes, sorry. The next is okay. Let's continue with uh, Maricela. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Um, Good evening. participle of right. Yeah. Written. Written. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, Maricela. Very good. Okay. Uh, past participle of um, where? Um, which? To Luis Enrique? Hello. Hello, guys. How are you? It's a pleasure to see to see and hear again. <laughs> okay. 
Nice to hear you again, Luis. Okay. Uh, repeat the question, Maricela, please. Hello, Maricela. Past participle of wish. Wish. Can you spell it? W. Yeah. I S H. Wish. Let me see. <clears throat> Um, I, I think it's which W I S H E D. Yes, uh huh, that's correct. Yeah, just be be careful how you pronounce it. Uh, Luis is wished, wish with a T, wish the sound is t at the end, wish, wish. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. wish. Which okay. with a T at the end. Which? No. Which? No, no. Which? No. It's wish. T. Ah, which? Wish. Better. Which? Is better. Wish. T. Yes. Wish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. okay. All right, Luis, go ahead and continue. Okay. Let's see. Um, um hit H I T hit to whom? Um, let me see. I don't know who who is not participating right now because I'm late on class. Oh, it's okay. You can uh, choose anybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, doesn't have. They can they can repeat. Okay. Juan Manuel Portillo. Okay. You say hit like a punch, right? Yes, like a punch. Hit, I think is hit. I think it's hit, hit. Yeah, hit it. Uh huh. No, hit uh, no. Um, no. That's principle of hit. It's hit, right? Yeah, hit. It's the so same. It's hit. The same. Uh, simple past hit, 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 and the past participle hit. So it's hit, hit, hit. Oh, okay. Hit, hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Continue, Juan Manuel. A uh, past participle of fly to Wilmer Flores. Hi, good night. Hi. I remember the past of fly is long. That's right. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. We're going to stop there um, simply because um, of time, but you guys got it. Very good. Excellent. Though, so some of the ones that you asked were uh, regular verbs. Some of them were, um, were irregular. Okay. So that's good. Excellent. All right. Now, why am I asking you about past participle? Well, because today we're going to be learning how to use past participles like adjectives. Okay. Remember, what is an adjective? When I ask, when I talk about an adjective, what am I talking about? About something that qualified a noun. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, something that qualifies a noun or modifies it, gives us more information about a noun. Yeah. Okay? Okay. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to show you here the whiteboard so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay. 
So here we're describing problems. Let's Describing problem with describing problems with or if there's any using principles as adjectives. So that's our topic, right? Describing problems using past participles with adject as adjectives. So, um, for example, we could say, "What's the problem with um, what's the problem with the um, with the, the cell phone?" Okay. Let's talk about the cell phone. What's the problem with the cell phone? Um, we can say, the, is the screen of the cell We have always a little bit over here. Okay, the screen of the cell phone. And different color here. Is where we're going to use. Correct. Okay, so what's the problem with the cell phone? Well, the problem is that the screen of the cell phone is cracked. You guys understand cracked? Yeah. Everybody understands what I mean by cracked? Yes or no? Class? No, no. No? Okay. Uh, just give me a second and I'll show you exactly what I mean. <laughs> okay. I have a cell phone here, here that has a screen that is very cracked okay <laughs> i don't know if you can see it here can you see that yes we okay. see it so all these lines here that's cracked yeah okay like okay. i said okay it's very cracked okay i don't use it anymore. sorry for you <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah unfortunately it doesn't it, I don't use it anymore because I'm, I can't. So it's just my old cell phone. Um, all right, but anyways, so there you go. That's the problem with um, the cell phone. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, or we can. Okay. Well, let me. That's it. All right. I'll give you another example. What's the problem with um, for example, what's the problem with the CD? Okay. Or no, the glasses. I'll say what are the problems with the glasses, okay? Um, the you can say the Lenses are sorry, the lenses or the lens. The lenses. Yeah, we'll say both of them. 
Okay, the lenses. Are. Scratch. That's the problem. You guys understand scratch? Um, um, no, not really. In what, Spanish, what in, in Spanish, teacher, rayado, no. Yeah, scratches when they're lines, right? They're lines, like, like that, line, like that. Like torn? Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, scratched is just that it has lines, uh, but it's not, the lines are just on the surface. Okay. Okay, whereas cracked, yeah. notice over here, this one is cracked. And um, in this case, cracked also has lines, but the lines are not in the surface. The lines are, go completely across. Okay. Okay. So okay. What, what's cracked in Spanish? Cracked. Uh -huh, in Spanish. Rajado. Rayado. Rayado. No, the cracked. Rajado. Rajado. And scratched uh -huh. would be. Rasgado? No, scratched. I don't know. You because said it. Ras rasgado is torn, right? Uh -huh. Yes, but cracked, cracked we said is rajado. And scratched? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> rayado. Rayado. Exactly. Rayado. rayado. Mm -hmm. And what is lenses, teacher? Sorry. Hmm? What is the, the what means? The word uh, lenses. Lenses? Uh, lenses yeah. are uh, lentes. Okay. Right. No. And what I mean are like. Um, this, uh, what is the difference between lenses and glasses? Yeah, that's what I was going to explain to you. Uh, okay. I don't have my glasses. glasses are, so I can show you. Anyways, the glasses are the whole thing. Okay, the lens is the let's say the part of the camera, like no, it's like the part. The, oh yeah, yeah. The actual glass part. Yes. Right? Wow. Like the binoculares also, right? Like um, in a, like for example, a, in a camera, in a camera of a cell phone, for example, the camera has a lens, a lens to. Be yes. yes. Yeah. That's the lens. Yeah. yeah. Right? Whereas glasses are in general, right? The whole, what you put up here, and the lens is the part yeah. that helps you to focus. Okay. This great picture. All right. You. Good. And we can say, um, what's the problem with your tooth? My, oops, let's change the color. My tooth. Is. Chipped. Do you guys understand chipped? No. Yes. So a little pieces of the of the tip. Yeah. It, it means that the a little peak of the the item has fallen off. So it's not smooth, but there's a little bit of a part missing, mm -hmm. a small part that is missing, that's chipped. Okay. Okay. So what did, what would that say in Spanish? My tooth is chipped. Astillado. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So me me. How do you say podrido? Sorry. Yeah. How do you say podrido, teacher? Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, that's a good oh, one. Oh, yeah, you're rotting. Yes, that's a good one too. My, um, no, that's, let's say, instead of saying teeth, <laughs> so so that it's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, that's why. The fruits. Uh, yeah, that, that Only be. in May. We often say, All... we often, I think we often <laughs> use that word. Mm. What? I think we often use that word, podrido, in Spanish. Yeah. It's like the, the, the food, the fruit, many things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Hopefully, we don't use it for, for tea. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you could use it, but let's hope that you don't. <laughs> okay, so that is that is too insane. <laughs> yeah, well, but it does happen though. The fruit is rotten. <laughs> so let's use it for maybe me. Maybe in medieval yeah. medieval age, maybe medieval. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like uh, in the Middle Ages, definitely people would have rotten teeth. You're absolutely right. But hopefully, in 2020, <laughs> people don't have so much of a rotten tooth, hopefully. Mm. Okay. Um, okay, we can also say, for example, um, what's the problem with um, my tablecloth? Okay, you can say, sorry, I forget all the time to change the color. Okay, the tablecloth, you guys understand tablecloth? You guys understand tablecloth? No. I have the idea, but I'm not pretty sure. Okay, okay, it's okay. Um, uh, it's a, a, a piece of, um, that is put on uh, a, above of the, the, the um, chair. I uh, know, above the table. The table, exactly. A little piece of. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a piece of fabric, right? That we put on top of the okay. table to protect the table, yeah, from like food or or liquids that could fall on it. And it also is also used for decoration too. Okay. So we can say the tablecloth. Um, is stained. You guys understand what is stained? No. Yes. I don't know. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's like a dirty. It's a dirty yes. Although sometimes uh, a stain can be there even if you wash the tablecloth. For example, imagine that you spill wine. Okay, if you oh, spill yes. wine on the tablecloth, yes. even if you wash it, the, there will still be a spot on the tablecloth and it looks dirty even though it's clean. That's a stain. Okay. So a stain is a, is a spot. Okay. Yes, um, I think it's, it's hard to remove it. Yeah, it's very hard, like with wine, for example. Yeah. Wine is hard to, it's uh -huh. hard to remove. Yes, it is very hard, yeah. Okay, um, we can also say, for example, um, what's the problem with the... Hmm, with the pants. My my um cargo pants. Oh. 
are. You guys understand what is torn? Um, no. Do you know what is torn? Yes, it's like when the cut uh, tears the sofa, for example. Sorry, could you repeat that? For example, when a cut tears uh -huh. a sofa. Oh, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. It, so basically, it's like a like a rip. Okay. Um. Uh, for example, if I take this piece of paper, I can tear it. So that 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 um that action is torn. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Um but in this time this is the mold teacher. <laughs> especially especially the girls. <laughs> yes, very, very good point. Yes. Mm. Uh, but if your cargo pants are torn in the like um in your bottom probably a problem ah uh, yes <laughs> that may not yes, be yes. that may not be a, a good idea good. To use that, even if it's, it's a very good good point too <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay mm -hmm. or or for example in between the the, uh, the leg area it's not a good idea to have two yeah. pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, anyways, guys. Um, so, if you notice, I think it's pretty clear from the my my colors. What's the structure that we need to use here? Okay. So, just to make sure that you do understand it, could you tell me what is the structure that we need to use? Sorry, did you what did you say? Sorry? I think the structure is, I, I think the structure is the first, uh, first ball is the subject. Uh-huh. Good, subject. Plus, verb, verb to be. Exactly, very good. Plus the verb to be. I'm actually going to put B uh, with capital just so that you know. If you notice, it, it all depends on the subject, right? So if the subject is singular, you're going to be using is, right? But the subject is plural, like lenses, car cargo pants, we're going to use uh, R. And then? And then uh, past participle. Exactly. Very good. Past participle. Good job. Uh-huh. And why, for example, with the word open, sometimes I've already heard that somebody, some some people say the store is open and they don't put the bear open in past participle. Why don't they do that? Um, for example, how would you say the store is open? La tienda está abierta, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. I haven't actually thought about that one. But um, can I get back to you on that one? Yes, of course. Yeah, that's a very good question, actually. I hadn't really thought about that one. Uh, but you're right. It is possible to say the story is open, not the story is open. Let me find out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll get back to you on that one. 
Okay. Um, okay, so that's one. So this is one way that we can talk about um, about a, um, about problems using the the past participle as adjectives. Now, another way that we can use it is like this: the same sentence that I have here, but I'm going to say it in a different way. I can say. That's a crack. Mm -hmm, exactly. So in so the screen of the cell phone. has a crack. OK. OK. Or with this one, I can also say, Uh, the lenses, sorry, sorry, sorry. No. There is a, sorry. You say there's a crack. Uh, oh, no, sorry, no, sorry. No, my mistake. It's bad. I'll, I'll just change that in a moment. I'm going to change this. I made a mistake. There are I saw cracks. Scratches. Okay. So what's the problem with the lenses? There are scratches on them. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, over here, I can say, what's the problem with your tooth? You can say, my tooth, my tooth. Has what? Has what? 
What do you think we're going to put here? What does it have? Chips. And chips and chips is like potato chips <laughs> no. <laughs> no no i was thinking uh, about the chips does not have a potato like the same <laughs> no in this no, case, a, chip. a chip um in this case uh, what was it what did we say was the um what did we say? My tooth is chipped in Spanish. I forgot. What did you say? What? My tooth is chipped. How do you? How do you? This one right here. My tooth Astilla. is chipped. Astilla. So it would be mi mi diente tiene una astilla. <laughs> it doesn't make 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 sense. I don't know. Can you say that in Spanish? I don't know. Tiene una astilla? I don't know. I don't know. But it's in no. no. Está astillado. Uh -huh. In English, in English, we can say it both ways. Okay. All right. Um, the same thing here. Um, so we can say. Um, there is. Um, actually, this one doesn't really make sense so much if you put it. Uh, the, the fruit is rotten. No, this one doesn't really make sense. You see that we would say more like. Um, um, the the fruit and then has a rotten a rot in it right has a rot in it or on well yeah in it we could say in it has a rot in it okay uh or we can say for example there is on the tablecloth. There's a stain on the tablecloth. And finally, we can also say there are And this because um, maybe there's more than one. We can say there are tears. There are tears. And this would be on my cargo pants. Okay. So this, okay. This 
same idea. So these are different ways that we can express the same problem. Okay. So here, where this one's using it as adjectives, but in this one, we're actually not using it as adjectives, uh, but instead as where we can use, we're using um, actually nouns as well. Okay. Um, so as adjectives or as nouns. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Adjectives or as nouns. Okay, so what's, a, what's the structure for this one? Well, basically for this one, we have two structures, two possibilities. First one is using the subject plus have, and when I say have, it can either be have or has, depending on the subject is singular or plural, okay? And then we as now. Now. Okay, so right here we have the subject, the, the screen of the cell phone is the subject, then we have has, have, and then we have a noun. The noun is a fraction, which comes from the first participle fraction. Okay, so that's one structure. The other structure is using either there is or there are. And then after that, we would use the noun. No. Okay. Like in this case, there is and then the noun. Um, are and the nouns. Okay, so those are the two structures that are possible. Any questions? No. Okay, so you guys can take a picture of it, or I don't know, whatever you want to do with this. No, very much. Yeah. I was thinking about uh, the same as I told that I told you happened when you say everything is clear everything is clean do we use their past participle of the verb or not no um, no uh, everything is clean no um, unless you're saying like a no, because there are those, no, there are yeah. the, um, those be that um, exceptions or something like that. No, because um, in that case, you don't need the past participle. It, it, because otherwise, it'd be that would be like saying in Spanish, está limpiado. Okay. Okay. Whereas it doesn't really make sense. It's more. It, it makes more sense to say está limpio. Because if you said that, if you if you said it was cleaned, then you would say um, está limpiado. Okay. So it doesn't really make that much sense. Okay. Okay. All right. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes, it makes sense. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Um, all right. So what I want you to do right now is I'd like you to think about. Let me stop sharing for a moment. And I want you to think about things that you have in your house. What problems do you have with the things in your house? Like, um, you know, with the uh, you maybe you want you want to you want to have somebody fix your TV. 
or your radio or your computer. What's the problem with it? Okay. Or maybe maybe you there's no fixing of it. But let's see what's the problem and I want you to write some sentences. I want you to write at least three sentences of things that are happening uh, or objects that you own. And if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me. So these are things that it doesn't have to be necessarily like, uh, you know, things like electronic things in your house. It could be anything at all, anything you own. Like it could be um, personal things like um, your clothes, your glasses, anything. Okay, I have them. You, you got it? You have all, all of them? Yeah, you said only three, right? Only three. Yeah. Yeah, only three. I think I have them. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one more minute. Yeah. I have one, two, teacher. Two? Sorry? Yes. You're finished as well. Yes. I'm going to share in a moment. Teacher, how can I say desinflado? Desinflado? Sí, o punchado. Oh. ¿Qué le falta a esto? Punched is um, like pinchado. <laughs> How did you say, sorry? Um, P-I-N-C-H-E-D. Oh, pinch. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I want to hear what you guys have. All right, Josue, are you ready? You're finished? Not yet, teacher. Not yet? Okay. All right, we'll come back to you then in a moment. Luis, are you finished? I guess. Okay. All right. Okay, go ahead, uh, Luis. Okay, the first one is. Uh, the table is broken. Okay, good, excellent. 
Um, the second is um, the, my car is fixed. It's fixed. Fixed. Okay. Uh -huh. But remember, these are talking about problems. So having the car fixed is not a problem. That's a good thing. That's a solution. Okay. Um, the, in, in this case, yeah, like uh, miss the, the, my car is miss up. Um, maybe my car um, is um, damaged. Damaged, uh huh. Yes, yes, damaged. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the other one? I, uh, the last one is um, uh, my house is cleaned. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's the solution, right? It, this is not a pro yeah, problem. Exactly. Mm -hmm. In this case, uh, maybe will be my, my house is, is dirt. But remember, past participle of, of, of verbs. Okay. I'll get I'll, I'll get you thinking about the last one, okay, Luis? I'll, I'll come back. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Rafael, can you give me yours in your three? Yeah. In fact, I, I, I remember, but I'm going to say those ones about, I'm not pretty sure, so that you can <laughs> tell me. Okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Okay, my homework is screwed up. It's screwed up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, sure. It's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, other is um, my favorite slacks are stained. Good. Mm -hmm. And and last one is. The bookcase is damaged. Perfect. Okay, good. Thank you, Rafael. Uh, Juan Manuel. Okay, I have a question. How do you say focal? Bulb. Light bulb. What? Light bulb. Light bulb. Can you spell it bulb? Yeah, I'll, I'll already in the in the in the chat. Okay. There you go. Okay. The light bulb is born. I don't know if is that correct. Say born or born out. Is burned. Is burned. Is burned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Okay. Excellent. Was that three? All right. That was only two, right? Juan Manuel? Juan Manuel? Can you hear me? Sorry, guys. Uh, I went on a little trip. Hello. <laughs> Welcome <Hello>. again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Zoom, Zoom is doing funny things right now. Okay. Um, so, where were we? Uh, Luis, Juan, Juan Manuel, right? Yeah. Uh, the first one, the light bulb is born. Uh -huh. Yeah, the second one is. The windows of my room is broken. Okay, remember windows is plural. So it'd be the windows of my uh, window. Uh -huh, windows uh, is or are? Is. 
windows is plural. So is or are? Are. Good. Mm -hmm. If I use windows, are. Yeah. Are, yes. Uh -huh. And the third one, the screen of my cell phone is scratch. Yeah, very good. But not cracked like mine, right? <laughs> mine is like yeah, a... Yeah, this is too useful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let me see who I have in the Maricela. Hi. 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 Do you have yours? Hello? Yes, yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay. Um, the first one is my laptop is failed. And the second one, my car seats are dirt. And the last one, my car tires are ruined. Ruined. What, what's the first one? My laptop is failed. It's failed. 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 Um, what, what were you trying to say? The true. Caduco. <laughs> 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 Um, no, it, 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 it's something weird. Sometimes is right and sometimes is fail. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> but what are you it's trying wrong. to do in Spanish? Um, in Spanish. Fallar. Oh, okay, yeah. No, in that case, no, we couldn't do that. Um, no. No, it has to be a verb that is an adjective. Okay, so we can say my laptop is, um, we can say- but the verb failed? Put it down, no. Is the past participle no. failed? Yes, but failed? No, it no. no, it doesn't make sense that way, no. No, because mm -hmm. that, that is not an adjective. It is not an adjective. Okay. Can you? Um, I would say is damaged. Mm -hmm. I would say damaged because okay. if it's damaged, it cannot work properly. Okay. And the second one, what was the second one? When it's, ah, you said dirty. Yeah, dirty is not um, a verb, it doesn't come from a verb. So it's not a past participle. All the sentences are wrong, teacher. Really. Uh, well, you just have to do fix, you just have to fix them. Okay. The ideas but are there, dirt, you have to fix a little bit. Okay? Dirt is a verb. It's dirty not with is a verb. verb. Dirty is, uh, dirty is a, um, um, what's it called? Um, sucio. So sucio is not a verb. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, right, right. right that, that's right, an adjective. Right. It's true. So, yes. Yeah, so you okay. just gotta fix that one. And what was the last one? What did you, what did you want to say? What was the My car tires are ruined. 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 Yes. Ruined, like arruinados. Yes. Uh huh. Ruined. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very good, Marcela. All right, who hasn't passed? Not excellent. <laughs> but the right. No, yeah, but you're getting there. This is, this is what us learning, right? Fail. Okay. Who have I not yes. asked? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Josue. My mirror is a scratch. Hmm? Good. And my shoes are torn. Torn, torn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Torn. Mm -hmm. Good. Another one? Um, my TV is damaged. Good. Excellent. 
Excellent. Yes. Very, very good. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Josue. All right. Uh, who else? Anybody else? Me, teacher. Oh. All right, go ahead, Luis. Okay, first one. My Bluetooth earphones are damaged. Mm -hmm. yep. Second one. Um, the smart TV is, is scratched. Mm -hmm. Good. And last one. As told, burner burner is clogged. Is what? Clogged. Plugged. Clogged. Oh, clogged. Clogged. Yes. Mm -hmm. Clogged. Yeah. Clogged. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Clogged. Very good. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, so that's it, everybody. I think everybody got it. Just remember, you got to use the, the verbs, the verbs that we convert into adjectives when we put it in the past participle. That's what we're looking at. Okay, guys, well, that will be all for today. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Any questions that you guys have before we leave? No, teacher. No, teacher, thank you. No. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good evening. Um, sleep okay. good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.